you want Minecraft Java and Bedrock players to be able to play on your Minecraft server, Geyser is the best option for you, and today I'm going to show you how to install that with Rocket Node. So once you have a server with Rocket Node, you're going to go to Login and Game Panel, and from there you'll be able to see your servers. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. You're going to go to geysermc.org, and you're going to download Geyser and the Geyser Floodgate. Once both of those are installed, you're going to go to File Manager, find your Plugins folder, and you can simply drag and drop both of these into your plugins folder. It'll take a second to upload, and then they're there. Now we can go to console and start our server to get those plugins working. And now that the server started, we can go ahead and set up the config to get everything working. So you're gonna to wanna to go to network and click create allocation. This is gonna create a second port on your server, and this is the one that Bedrock players are gonna to need to use. So go ahead and copy this, and for me it's 3003. Now we can go back to file manager plugins and you'll see a new folder called geyser spigot go ahead and click on that and then find config.yml once you're in here you're going to see port and you're simply just going to go ahead and change the port over to the one that you just got from your network tab make sure you click save go back to the console and give your server another restart now that it started people can join the server your IP is located right here next to the little globe. For Java players, it's going to be this whole IP. For Bedrock players, it's just going to be up to the colon here. So go ahead and copy this. And in Bedrock, we go to Play, Servers, Add Server, enter the server name. I'll just call this Test. The server IP goes here, and the port that we just added goes here. So that was 3003, and then we can click Save and Play join server and as you can see we are in a java edition server on bedrock i hope this tutorial helped you guys thank you and have a good day